Hi Virgo, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Virgo, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Virgo. So at the bottom of the deck we have the ten of swords and this is air energy gemini libra aquarius energy so this is a card of an ending a painful ending this can be a breakup it can even show a betrayal here but there's definitely something that's come to an end and it does look like someone is is standing up after having been hurt severely here so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say okay we have the knight of wands fire energy the tower mars energy and we have the Four of Swords, Air Energy. Okay, so with the Knight of Wands, you could have been dealing with someone here where there, there was a lot of chemistry, a lot of attraction, but there's something about this situation where um, it's like things burnt out quickly or um, some, some sort of intense situation may have taken place with the tower being there. That does show some sort of destruction that may have occurred for this connection. It could have been an on and off connection with the Knight of Wands being there. That can be a hot and cold partner, someone who it can even be a bit non-committal. And there's something about this person. It, it's looking as if um, they could have broken your heart because you have the Ten of Swords. It could have even possibly been that they betrayed you. And there is an energy of this tower moment where, you know, it's like, a revelation or something destructive takes place here, a revelation or, you know, it's like the writing is on the wall here. And with the Four of Swords, it does look like you may be in this healing energy at this time or a period of healing is soon to follow because something happened here that is leading someone here to feel like they need to recover and they need to take time for themselves, practicing self-care, self-love and nurturing their heart here. So you could be, um, you know, ending something with someone here. Okay, so let's clarify these cards, Virgo. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the moon in the reverse, and this is Pisces energy. So this is a card of um, things coming to light. So you, you may have found out a truth about someone, and it, it looks like it could be a painful truth. It could really change the, the situation here. It's like realizing that something you had with someone was an illusion, or it was built on a, sh a shaky foundation to begin with. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Ten of Swords again, or, um, air energy. The Eight of Swords, Air Energy, and the Knight of Pentacles, Earth Energy. So it does look like there is definitely a feeling here of feeling like you were victimized by someone. Um, feeling like someone hurt you, took your power, made you feel stuck. But I do see you getting up from this. It's like you may have been feeling like you're on the ground here. You need to recover from this. You could even just be taking your time to heal from this. Um, because it does look like it's it's a lot to take in right now. But I do see you standing up and, and um, moving forward from this in your own time, though. Because the Eight of Swords, it looks like your mind may still be uh, replaying things that are actually hurting you to think about. And you could, at times, feel like someone really put, put the blindfold on you. Because it looks like this is shocking what you're finding out here. And it does look like even though you remove yourself from the situation or you pull away... You may still be hoping to get some sort of apology or explanation from this person. And with the Knight of Pentacles showing up, it looks like it's going to be a very long time before this person does that. So there is an, an energy here of having to really just shift the focus on yourself and your healing for now. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an Oracle card for you, Virgo. Okay, 
Okay, so we have adjustments are required, third quarter moon. Okay, so this is really looking back at a situation and realizing where the red flags were. You know, there's this energy of seeing that the foundation was never solid here. And you may not even have realized it until some something happens here with this tower. And that's like a wake up call. Okay, so I'm going to put another card for you. So we have getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, each other, your bond deepens. And we have the moon in the reverse. I'm seeing this as you seeing someone's true colors. There's something about someone who created an illusion or they hid things from you and you're, you're seeing their true colors. The truth is coming out here. Okay, so I'm going to put another card for you. So we have pansy, sweet thoughts. Pray you love, remember, and there are pansies, that's for thoughts. So there's a message here about needing to protect your thoughts, needing to guard your mind, because there's something with the eight of swords of putting yourself in a mental prison by overthinking something, over analyzing something to the point where you feel trapped, stuck, or even controlled by the situation. So there's definitely a need to really be careful of the thoughts you entertain. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a card for your advice, Virgo. Okay, so we have surrender the idea you can fix someone. It's time for a relationship to shift. It doesn't work to try to fix someone. Each person must be accountable for his or her own healing. So it looks like there could be, it's like a time to really just focus on, on yourself, to pour into yourself, to be in that four of swords energy, which is really self-care, focusing on your healing and, you know, kind of not focusing on this person because this person is on their own journey. And with that knight of wands, that, that, that can be someone who can be, um, you know, a bit selfish, a bit of a player, someone who is very focused on their desires. And at times this can be hurtful to the person that they're dealing with. So it's like um, by focusing on yourself, you, you give them an opportunity to work on themselves because there is an energy of someone having hurt you because of those reckless, selfish tendencies here. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Virgo. I hope you have a really, really good day, Virgo. Bye, Virgo.